tunashimia imana ku bwa presence yanyu mwese buri muntu wabashe kuza we thank god for each person who was able to make it today no mugisha it is a blessing tunashimira imana and we thank god for that presence yawe for your presence imana yabashe kuyobora kamuteza intambwe kagira the god who led you and brought you here safely amen amen reka dusome ijambo ry'imana mu byakozwe n'intumwa igice cy'ambere ku murongo wa munana Let's read the word of God in Acts 1 verse 8. Ibza kozwe n'indumwa ni gice cya mbere ku murongo wa 8. It is Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Icyakora muzahabwa imbaraga umwuka wera nabamanukira kandi muzaba bagabo bo kumpamya i Yerusalemu i Yudaya i Samaria but you shall receive power when the holy spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in jerusalem and in all judea and samaria and to the end of the earth when we look at the history of the church it has been 2000 years to this day kwizera kwa Kristo gukwiriye mu isi yose where christianity is the faith uh, all over the world hafi kimwe cyaga tatu cyisi abatu yisi eh naba Kristo nubwo byitwizina ariko naba Kristo about a third of the inhabitants on this earth are christians ibi byatangiwe nabantu bake cyane this was started by a few people abantu bake babarobyi uh, just a few fishermen abatoza bikora tax collectors ndetse nabasore bato bahere i Judaya muri province aho ni muri Israel and youthful trouble makers in an obscure province of Judea in Israel aba babashye kujyana ubutumwa bw'Imana hirya no hino kwisi they were able to spread the gospel all over the globe ariko ndi babikoze kumbaraga zabo but they didn't do it in their own power. They went through many difficulties and trials. They went through terrible times. But they were able to defend what they had committed to. They had no other power but to fight for truth. Kandi kuri bari bafite bari barakumenye kuri Yesu and the truth they received it from Jesus. Munzandiko zabo baravuga ngo uwo twabonye uwo twabanye uwo twagendanye niwe tubabwira. In their epistles they say the one we walked the one we saw is the one we are preaching to. Twazamukanye umusozi nawe. We went up the mountain with him. Twumvise ijwi rimuhame. We have heard the voice. Uyu niwe tubabwira. And he's the one we are preaching to. Aba bari abagabo bo guhamya bari byabona cyangwa se bari abatemwe these were witnesses they talked about the man jesus they talked about the miracles that jesus did they talked about the death of jesus they talked about the resurrection of jesus they talked about they talked about what Jesus did when he was still in, on this earth. They also talked about the promise he left them. They talked about the power of the Holy Spirit coming down. When the Holy Spirit come to people, and they will be filled with the power to witness Jesus. That the purpose of being filled with the Holy Spirit is the power to witness Jesus. They talked about his ascension. And they talked about his return. Everything that was spoken has been fulfilled. Except for one thing. His return. What was spoken about Jesus has been fulfilled except his return between his return and now there is an assignment we have been left the assignment is to preach the gospel all over the world 
the people may know salvation katagurwa that is not bought katangi ubuntu that was given by grace akagakiza this salvation kaheriye muri Jerusalem is started in Jerusalem none you munsi kakawa kari hano i boys and today it is here in boys ntabwo gwari urugendo rworoshye it wasn't an easy journey oh yeah ndi gwari gworoshye no it was not easy yesu yabasezeranye ko bazagira undu zabafasha kubikora jesus promised them that they will have someone to help them kandi ono umwuka wera and that is the holy spirit yesu azutse when jesus resurrected yagiyaboneka gake gake he manifests himself in a few times yasanga gahabigishwa bari he will find where disciples were akabiyereka he will manifest himself akababwira ibyubwami he will tell them about the kingdom ico giye yagiranye nayo iminsi 40 abiyereka he spent 40 days manifesting himself ico giye ababwira ikintu gikomeye cyane and he told them something very important arababwira ngo icyakora muzahabwa imbaraga he said you will receive power umwuka wera nabamanukira when the holy spirit comes upon you ico giye muzaba abagabo muzaba abahamya and you will be witnesses bokumpamya to witness my takindi bazahamya they will not witness anything takindi umwuka wera zamanukira there is no other purpose for the holy spirit umwuka wera zamanukira kugira ngo abantu bahamye yesu the holy spirit will come so that people can testify about jesus intego y'umwuka wera the purpose of the holy spirit intego y'ibitangaza the purpose of miracles intego y'impano the purpose of gifts su kugira ngo tube populaire it is not for becoming popular su kugira ngo tube abastar it is not to become stars no kwibesha cyane it's actually foolish to be filled with the Holy Spirit and you want to be visible to serve God and you think you're going to be a special person that is very different from the goal of Jesus the purpose of Jesus is to be filled with the Holy Spirit and testify him Jesus must be the center of our discussions. He must be the center of our message. Jesus must be the center of our curiosity. Jesus Christ must be the center of our worship. And we cannot do that without the help of the Holy Spirit. When someone is prayed for to be a pastor, as an evangelist, or as a deacon, or a servant of God in his house, it is not an honor that they are given. It is not a title they are given. People confuse titles with the assignment that Jesus left. Those who started this ministry, it wasn't a title ministry because they were killed they were persecuted their families rejected them even though they will give you money people will not accept them but today people feel they give them names we clothe ourselves we decorate them we make them ceremonial because we don't know because we don't know the price that was paid the price that has to be paid doesn't allow per, a person to accept this life because it's a work of being it's a work to be despised it's a work to be hated he has trials more uh, that, that, that a person cannot bear this work it has attacks that someone may not have when they are not in it this work attracts demons to fight against you this work attracts enemies more than the ones you had before this work attracts jealousy and it has no reward this work attracts calumnies and it has no honor people of God Christ left an assignment 
nicyo cyatumye ahuruza ijuru ijuru ryo sari alerta that's why he alerted heaven ngo muka wera he say holy spirit come and be with these people because if you don't help them they will die if you don't help them they will not be able to witness if you don't help them they will not be able to do anything if you don't help them they will not fulfill their purpose if you don't help them they will not preach the gospel there is no other message we have except telling people the salvation that came on this world Yes, Praise Jesus. Mugiye cha Yesu. Nigiye chindumu. In the time of Jesus and the apostles, nabantu bari baratawe. These were people who had been rejected. Babita ga sekte yaba Nazarene. They called it the Nazarene, the Nazarene sect. People who had been chased out of society and community. That's why when Jesus died, Peter rested himself and said, Let's go back to our old jobs. And he called his, uh, his brethren and told them let's go back to fish this work is difficult when Jesus resurrected he found Peter where he had fled Jesus did not despise him no no. he knew that it was not easy he told them my children did you have anything to eat no. Jesus didn't tell them how can you forsake me after three years he knew that you cannot do this work without the Holy Spirit he asked them did you eat and they said no they had spent the whole night fishing they couldn't find anything they came from Jerusalem and they walked all night they didn't they left Jesus on the cross and they walked all night and when they got to where they were supposed to go they started fishing. When Jesus resurrected he was in Galilee. He found them in a boat. They're asking themselves where they are going to go. After three years of living our families and now we are back. They had went through a boat. They didn't know that they had gone to fish so that when they get home, uh, the wives will be satisfied when they see the fish that they have gone after. Hey. Even when you become useless, but you come back home with a car or something valuable, your wife will forgive you. Why did you leave us with the children? Say, please, my wife. And then you show your wife, this is the house about in, in California. The wife will change her mind and her tune and say, yes, it's okay. And then you 
Imagine Peter coming back home after three years empty-handed. Jesus asked them, did you find anything to eat? He took bread. He, he cooked it on the with the fish. And they came and ate. He told them, Throw your nets on the right side. And they brought many fish. And John told Peter, I know that man. I know his touch. He's the Lord. He's the Lord. No one else can do this. It is the same man. He's the Lord. John told Peter, remember when we started the ministry? He told us to throw our nets to the right side and now he's doing it again. This is the Lord. Peter was like a madman. He jumped in the water and started to swim. When he got across, Jesus asked him, do you love me? And he said, yes, I love you. Peter, Peter, do you love me? You know that I love you. And Jesus asked him the third time, Do you love me? Peter was grieved because he's asking him many times and he told him, You know everything. What Jesus was telling him, Do you love me? Peter and Peter respond, yes, I love you. Jesus will give him a response. Sheep, tend my sheep. To show that you love me. It is to keep your members or your Christians and to look after them. A pastor doesn't become a problem. A pastor is the solution. If you used to speak loud, you need to lower your voice. If you used to be angry, you need to start being angry because this is your ship. You must learn how to manage your anger. When you are a pastor. Because if a pastor tries to fight with their members, it becomes a serious situation. But if your members are going up, you need to lower your, your, yourself. Sometimes Christians tell us difficult things sometimes Christians uh, become difficult to us but they come back and say please pray for me but we pray for them because that's our calling <laughs> one of them told me he came with his wife to see me and he said that we had fled. We had hated. We had hated you. Because of all the stories that we hear outside. So we loved the word that you preach. So we decided to listen to the radio, but not watch you on TV, so that we don't have to see you. Sometimes 
and I told them I'm a little different if I hate you I cannot even bear to hear your voice but then he told me no I cannot miss the word that you preach he told me do you know where you were the, the message how your message helped us and I told them what is bringing you here? <laughs> they told me we have come to ask you for forgiveness so that we can start watching you on TV as well there we go, okay. I told them okay kneel down so I pray for you. as soon as they knelt down they brought a bunch of problems as big as this house to pray for them and I told them and they told me we couldn't find anyone to pray for us imagine someone who has uh, gossiped about you spoken ill about you and then they come afterwards to ask you for prayer and you pray for them that's what a pastor does I was talking I talked with one of the pastors who came to see me about he was complaining about two Christians who were very difficult. I told him So he told me that one of those Christians who were difficult called for prayer for one of their kids and he's, the pastor said even in my dreams I cannot pray for you you, you who always insult me, go and find other people to pray for me and he begged and said please pray for me pastor he said I he said the son of so and so I will not pray for that person including his descendants and I, I gave him that testimony after I gave him the testimony he said please the pastor told me after I told him my testimony he said it's easy for you because you were born in the church you are used to the things of the church we were called out of the world and we cannot bear with those people so people are very tired when you accept to be a pastor you accept to be a trash can where they poor or they drop all their dirt do you know houses that are clean eh? you know clean houses you go into a house and you find that it's clean isn't that so have you seen a clean house if you look close on the side there is going to be some dirty stuff no, oh, there is a there is a there is a trash area. A house that is clean has a trash area. If you see a good church, you must know that the pastor is a trash can. If you find a dirty house, they don't have any trash can. If you find that the church has many issues and uh, quarrels, that means the pastor did not want to be a, a, a trash can. The heart of a pastor is to bless those who curse him. The heart of a pastor is to pray for those who insult them the heart of a pastor it is to uh, feed the one who for, uh, did not feed them the heart of a pastor is to clothe 
the one who made them naked nibari kintu kiryohera ba Kristo nukuvuga pastor wabo kiraryoha cyane if there is anything that is easy and uh, mwe mwe byenda muri boys ndi bihaba ariko twe bwandi tuvuye oya mwe nta bihaba hano nabonye muri abantu beza cyane nibari kintu kiryoha na ba Kristo gusa kwicara bavuga pastor icyo kiraryoha cyane nibombo if there is one thing that is enjoyable for christians it is to sit around and gossip about their pastors maybe in boys at all you don't have it but other people other areas we have those iyo rero mbonye abantu baje mu bwami bw'Imana ndishima cyane ndababwira ati karibu badutukane twese kuko hari giye bakwibagirwa gato bakabanza gufata abandi cyumweru ukaburutse na when i see people uh, becoming pastors i tell them come and join the the club of insults kandi nugire ngo badutuka nabanyamubiri nibarya bajya mu mwuka haleluya arangiza kugukubita neza arangiza gapfuka makajya mu ukabona we yafashijwe we washize don't think that the people who beat or insult us are the people outside they are the people who are filled with the spirit and they insult you but yet they are praying kweri ntambara badata babaye mu ngaba pasteli twabana babo twari twaranze kuba ba pasteli because of the fights our fathers went through as pastors we our their children did not want to be pastors don't mushumba a pastor ninga watagira droit yo kuba it's as if they have no right to leave agura kamushware mkeza ngo na maturo yacu they buy a nice handkerchief and people start gossiping that it's their offering no no kyo zari kuko ndu mugabo nange nagiye gukora nange nakuze nkabandi why ariko kubera umuhamagara kandi kubera mapubere yuzuye hari ya imyandi buzuye mu bagomba kuyigusukamo ukemera kuba ico kimoteri basukamo imyanda yabo yose umuntu abaretse basara muri uyu mugi muzi impamvu mu muryo amaneza mugasinzira nuko twe tuba turi mu ibyanyu mudusuka mu bisazi byanyu mugadusuka mu miborogo yanyu twikaturaramo twaraturwana na ijoro ryose ariko ukagona ha ukagera ngo nuko ugona kwizanye parazare a a nuko hari uba gusengeye gusinzire neza sometimes you have peace you rest and you think that it's your peace no it's because we pastors take on your issues and we pray for you twasenga we pray we pray for you we call upon God to know your people to take care of your family to take care of your work to take care of your business to prosper we do that you see things working and you think that you are using your skills there are people who have more skills than you but they have failed the reason why it works for you there is someone who prays for you and the one who prays for you without any hypocrisy this is uh, how sweet you are. this is how sweet you are umuntu araza akakubwira ngo sengera naburaye you someone comes and say pray for me because i'm hungry so i can have a job you pray for them after they get a job and they become great they leave the church and they go in another place that is more that is better let's just leave that one because they go to another church sugo kujya mu hari ahantu no no kujya mu bakizwa cyane ubu tusigaye tuvugana na basiyo reka biriya tubyihorere kandi wara musenge yapfa kucyaho there are others who say because of the level i am at i cannot come and uh, pray with the public because i now have higher levels and i discuss things with ceos abo turabafite benshi we have those ngahurira ngo mu ndege cyangwa ngahurira kukibuga ah pastor muraho when you meet them yeah. in the play in no go mutatubona ariko burya mu mutima turasenga ubwo akubwira ari magenda wibuka ukuntu wamusengeye arira ukamureba agenda akubwiye ngo ngo murasengana mu mutima no gutamubona ah ukamureba ukavuga ati imana ngiye nakoze icyo nagombaga gukora 
you meet them you meet them in the airport and they greet you and they say we don't come to church physically but we are together and you look at them remember how you pray for them and you just say to God I have done what I'm supposed to do Harundu kubwira ngo pastor there's others that tell you pastor you prayed for me. my business is successful and I have sent all my children to study abroad and they these people would uh, send their children to study abroad and they would start helping other churches instead of helping you who prayed for them I'm preparing the pastors who are about to be ordained to not be shot yo may God forgive us let's work do the work of God before the sun set Peter Jesus told him do you love me Keep my flock. Keep my sheep. Keep my lambs. He asked, he asked him to keep the pastors and also the Christians. He told him, Simon Peter, Peter, Peter when you were young, you go wherever you want you, you gird your, your, your garments and you go wherever you want when you are young but a time will come when you are old other people will gird your garments and they will take you where they want he was telling you there will be a time when the power of God comes upon you you will no longer go to peace the Holy Spirit will bind you and will send you what God wants he will use you to do great work praise Jesus there will be a time another person will go and will take you where they want today I understand you and they joined together he told them I must go the Holy Spirit will come the power will come upon you you will be witnesses to testify upon you today you run away from me today you run away but when the Holy Spirit comes you will be witnesses to testify in Jerusalem in Judea in Judea hallelujah Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Yes, Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. They were filled with the Holy Spirit in the time of Pentecost. When they were filled with the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, Jerusalem. The church grew in Jerusalem. Acts 1 8 that we read. You shall receive power to testify or witness me in Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Here in Jerusalem, you will testify about me. You will be witnesses. You will be men, witnesses. You will be witnesses. The word witness, witness. witness is not a gender. It's someone who commits to what they are saying. witness. That's good. Yes. Ariko But this word in Greek, it doesn't say that. No. No. Witness, 
In English it's witness. Ariko mu Kigiriki. But in Greek ni martyr. Muzaba ba martyr. It's a martyr. Martyr muzazira ubutumwa. You will die for the sake of the gospel. Ijambo ryo Kigiriki kuba umuhamya no kuba martyr gupfira ico wemera. The word witness in Greek is to die for what you have believed. Muzaba abapfira ibi muvuga. You will be martyrs for what you are professing. Muzaba abapfira njewe. You will be martyrs for me. Kandi muzahera hi Jerusalem. And you will study in Jerusalem. Muzaba abapfira. You will be the one who die for me. Mukomeze you die. And you continue to die. Muzaba abapfira. You die for me. Mukomeze is Samaria. You go to Samaria. Muzaba abapfira. And you die for me. Mugende kwisios. Until the end. Mufire. You die for me. Muzaba martyr. You will be my martyr. Niyo mpamvu y'umuntu yabaye umukozi w'Imana bari martyr. Tubukira umuryango, tubukira ubwoko, tuba ukira uruhu. No no no. Intumbi ndigira bene wayo, ndigira rase ndigira ururimi ndigira iki. Intumbi ni intumbi. Uba martyr. Iyo iyo rumu pasteur ugira ubwoko muri wowe. Ukaba pasteur ugira macha kwiri muri wowe. Ubutaraba martyr. Tuburi witness. When you are a pastor, you become a martyr. You don't have a household. You don't have a tribe. You don't have a race. When you still have those things, you are not a martyr. There is no pastor who disputes. All the Christians are his children. There is no pastor that is tribalistic. All his, the people are his tribe. Tamu pastor u muzungu nu numwira bura nu muhindi nu mushinwa. Bose na abahindi kuri we, bose na abirabura kuri we, bose na abazungu kuri we. Uwo niwe mushumba, niwe martyr, ni ufira Yesu. Kuko Yesu yacungu isi yose, nabafiriye Yesu nabo, nabi isi yose. There is no pastor who sees white, black or uh, other races. It's they see everyone the same because Jesus died for everyone. Niwe kira nu pastor if you sit with the pastor and they tell you in secret <clears throat> say listen we are no monkey. what is this one what tribe is this one you, you must ask them are you a martyr are you a martyr are you a witness they still have a journey if they say that. Pastor ina kubuza kugira mwene wanyu no kugira ubwoko bwawe ntabikubuza ariko we ntabwo agira. A pastor wewe ba mwene wanyu ba ushaka ku ariko pastor wawe ntabyo agira. A pastor doesn't prevent you to belong to a tribe or a clan but the pastor doesn't belong to that tribe or clan. Mm -mm. No. Abantu bose all people ni inzu yase have the house Abantu bose ni bene se all of all people are his brethren Bwana si fi Praise the Lord Itoro yakura ngi Jerusalem the church grew in Jerusalem Nyuma y'imyaka hafi 25 after 25 years hafi 25 after 25 across 20 Iraguka cyane it grew it grew very much In such a way that there was revival in Jerusalem, Christianity in Jerusalem. There were two, two people would walk together, and one was a believer, another one was an unbeliever. Research says in the time of the apostles church the city of Jerusalem he had 500,000 people they were, were in that city it says it says 
that believers were 250,000 a half of the city who were filled with the Holy Spirit from home to the temple court from temple court to the home they will go to home they will go to temple they will come back home the whole city was shaking miracles were happening the shadow of Peter was uh, healing lame people and handicapped people Jerusalem was filled with power. They were happy. People brought their wealth. People shared their wealth. Love was expanded. Because of rejoicing. Because of rejoicing. Because of rejoicing. Hallelujah. Because they enjoyed and they, they were in a routine, they forgot about Acts 8 1 to 4 that says, You will go from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When God saw that they had no plan to go into Judea, even when you have a business that works in a certain area you start thinking about expanding it in the same area it's very difficult to leave that's the issue of taking good care of guests because when you take good care of them they want to make it their home because they are if someone comes and you take care of them they think that is free they don't know the, the spending that you are uh, putting in you are get, you are they don't know the money that you are spending and God God knew this about the, these people as well they were very happy they brought the money and put it on the apostles they put in a place of, so protocol. of doing ashes. People must eat in the morning, in the uh, afternoon, Peter in the and Peter would come. And everyone wanted to touch him. And he would say, I don't have time. My children. I don't have time. I don't have Peter would say I don't have time bring the sick people and his shadow would heal them and they talked among them and they'd say this is the place where we are going to stay one day they talked to John Let's go to look at the temple and see. Everything. They went at 3 p.m. They found someone begging. They asked the question. They found a beggar and they told the beggar, we don't have money. The money is taken care of by the church, but whatever issue we have, just stand up and walk. This is the kind of life that they lived. They would do miracles like just the way we are talking. Because because the Holy Spirit had, had brought the power for miracles to witness Jesus. Every time there was a miracle, the church was expanded and many people were saved. Eh, 
And God said, when are these people going to go to Judea? Biranga. It was impossible. Imanatoke. God said, listen. Komu tubash. Now that you don't Ibza kuzgeri no mari mumunani. Acts 1:8. Rekamba manuri remo ibza kuzgeri no mumunani rimka. I'm going to bring down Acts 8:1. Avuga kuti. What does it say? Nguhere yo musi hatu kakarenga nega kome yimito rori Jerusalem. Bose watatani ramu bihugubzi Yudaya. Isa Maria. Gokeretsi nuba. At that time, a great persecution arose against the church, which was at Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. What is driving them there? What is driving them to go? Are they going to preach the gospel? They are going to save their lives. They say, Jerusalem. This Jerusalem. The sword is killing. Let me go to America. Let me go to boys. Listen. Do you know what brought you here? It is the sword that you fled away. Boys. 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 The reason, the reason you came here is not because you chose it. This is not your, the, your, your father's country. You don't even know, you, you didn't even know what boys was. Even the pronunciation is difficult for you. You were brought here by the sword. There was a sword upon you. The day you fled, you fled with your family. Ma, Imagine studying English, saying the basic words like "good morning" when you are old. You speak your language, but you don't even know how to write it. Now that you have come to a foreign country, how are you going to learn another language and learn how to write it? So write night for me and I'll see. Night. Night. Even them is difficult to write it. Yeah. It's difficult to write it. Why did God bring you into this foreign language? It's possible that you dwell too long in Jerusalem. And you need to be in Judea and Samaria. And the ends of the earth. Do you know what brought you here? You know the mission that brought you here? I praise God that today that mission is going to be fulfilled. What brought you here? No kugirango uzabu muhamia. Uzabe ufira yesu. Is to be a witness and a martyr. Dori chana angaj. This is what shocked me. Tuma ze kuhungin gota. After we ran away from the sword, we found another sword of factories. A sword of shifts. You you work in the morning, you work in the afternoon, you work in the evening, and you try to balance easy and difficult jobs. Don't balance. You came here to preach the gospel. If you're in that factory, have you told them about Jesus? If you're in that company, have you told them about Jesus? If you want to be in peace with Jesus, the rest of your life, preach him wherever you go. These people need Jesus. 
This country needs to hear Jesus. And they need to hear the Jesus from the foreign countries, not their Jesus in this country. They have heard much from their forefathers. They need to know your Jesus, the one that you brought from where you came from. They want to hear your testimony. Where Jesus took you from. The sword you went through. The rivers you crossed. The ditches you hid. They want to hear those things. Then they will say, This was done by Jesus. And this person will be amazed. They will say, Jesus is not in a book. Jesus is alive in this person. Jesus in you is more alive than the one they read in the Bible. They want to hear your witness. What are you doing? Oh, Benjamin ariko hari ubundi buryo umugongo wawe ni kibazo cyawugize ukigize ari kuvuga Yesu nawe yabijyamo akakora ku mubiri wawe kuko uri inyunguze aracyagukeneye kubyukora you may be you may have back pain or other issues because you work so hard don't worry maybe you can get treatment but if you preach Jesus he will get involved and heal you Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 Abantu barahunga. People ran away. Bagera i Judea Samaria. They got to Judea and Samaria. Ibyo kwenye numa 11, kumara ngo 19. Acts of Apostles 11:19. Ngo nuko abatatanijwe na karengane katewe ni bya Stefano, bagera i Phoenicia. Bagera ikupuro bagera Antiochia ari nta wundi babwira ijambo keretse abayuda bonyine Now those who were scattered after the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia Cyprus and Antioch preaching the word to no one but the Jews only Bavu Yerusalemu when they went from Jerusalem they said Ewa listen nta wundi tuzabwira ibi bintu We will not tell anyone else Nibyo Yesu yababwiye that's what Jesus taught. Yes, we have a security. Thank you. Come on, Jehe. Vahere. Kumberais. Aba yuda ni wabo njini wali kumberais. Ni wabo njini wali Samaria. Ni wabo njini wali yudai. Hari nabandi. Hari kobo kagatima. Ah, ni watu na hunze. Uyu yesu muiza murki. Ukiza wargu hai. Aka gawuri raba ken. Turamu gira bene wa chukusa. This Jesus that they were preaching, they didn't want to tell anyone else but the Jews. Jesus sent them to the ends of the earth to preach to other people who are not Jews, and they decided to keep it for, for themselves. If you know something good and you don't tell others, you are selfish. For Inikia. Phoenicia. Phoenicia, Phoenicia. Don't come with your bazaar Liban, Libanon. Don't come with your bazaar Liban. 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 Don't come but the ones in Cyprus Nikurene, and Cyrene and Antioch they spoke to the Hellenists preaching the Lord Jesus where is Cyprus? Okay. In it is an, an island in the under Turkey 
Cyprus. Nyanja Mediterranean, of course. In the sea, in the Mediterranean Sea. Ikure neni. Where is Cyprus? Ni muri Africa. It's in Africa. Ah, ni kungo ni kungengero zinyanja Mediterranean. Muri 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 Libya. I I ba I Benghazi. I Benghazi yumus. It is on the border of the Mediterranean Sea. No, no, sure. Kukuri, on, the kukuri. Kukuri. Sea, on the seashore yeah, of the Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea. Don't come to Libya. Or Libya of today. The uh, ben Benghazi city. Antioquia. Antioch. Ni umaja ruguru, don't come. Chogi hari muri Syria, we must ni muri Turkey. It's in the north. It was Syria at that time, but today. Ngobo. Those. Bakura itanu kare zoga toy. They did something different. Babwire nabanyamahanga isicyo yico giye yitwaga bagiriki umuntu wese bamwitaga umugiriki donc ici iyo umunyamahanga ba ngo numuhelene numugiriki at that time the world was divided between the Jews and the Greeks if you were not a Jew they would call you a Greek or the Hellenists baravuga ngo mubabwire nabo they said eh, preach to them babwire ubutumwa the priest kuburongo wa 2021 verse 21 ngukuboko ku mwami kuba kumwe nabo abantu benshi barizera bahindukira umwami dore byo Yesu yashakaga Antiochia and the hand of the lord was with them and a great number believed and turned to the lord this is what jesus wanted iyo nkuri rumvikana igera mu matwi y'itoro rya Yerusalemu bahita batumane barinaba ngo aje muri Antiochia the news of these things came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem and they sent out Bern Barnabas to go as far as Antioch Barnaba. Barnabas we heard that the Gentiles have been saved and he went to Antioch to see Nami mwakiriye Yesu abanyamahanga to haleluya mugume mu mwami Yesu kandi mu maramaze nimitima yanyu to bwari ubwambere abantu babona abanyamahanga nabo bari mu imana buzura umwuka wera batwebwe to kibyara batangaje cyane kubona Yesu wabo no bashobora kuba Yesu wacu ariko nicyo Yesu yashatse nta simperi Yerusalemu simperi Yuda yakusa mugere i Samaria no kupera yisi ni byakoraga when he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all with purpose of heart that they should continue with the Lord. They were, this, was, this is what Jesus wanted. He wanted all the people across uh, who were not Jews to be saved. The gospel spread and Paul uh, spread it around until they all died. The last one who died was Ariko Asia ari maze kwakira ubutumwa n'uburaya. But Asia and Europe had received the Africa yari yarabwakiriye mbere mu gihe cya Pentecote. Africa had received it in the time of Pentecost. Niki gihe mureba iki gihe ba iki bibazo muri Yerusalemu abanyekurene bari bamaze kwakira ubutumwa. And in this time where the people in Siren received the gospel as well. Paul only wajanye ubutumwa bugeze iburaya. Paul took the gospel into Europe. Imagine ko icyo gihe ubutumwa bwari muri Africa there. Imagine at that time the uh, gospel was already in Africa. Simon Munyakurene. Simon the of of Siren, Yesu. the one who carried the, the cross of Jesus. Uyeru Munyakurene yari wo muri 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 Africa. He was from Siren or Africa. Ubutumwa bwatangiye keri wanyu mwari mubizi. Did you know that the gospel came to your places a long time ago? Mwari mubizi. Did you know? He bwatangiye keri wanyu. He started in your. Mwe mwamenye ubutumwa mbere y'abanyaburaye you learned you heard the gospel before the people in europe no more america and america america yeah. got the gospel afterwards ariko america imaze kubumenya yo hari cyo yakoze but america ikurikiza ijambo vuba vuba iprinting za bibilia yohereza ba missionaires ku isi yose but when america received the gospel they started printing bibles and sending missionaries around the world ariko twebwe twarabumenye but we heard the gospel we continue to pray with it until he left. In short, let me give you a small history background. Our 
I want to give you a history background to show you why we are here in Boys today. Between the, eight, the year of 70 and 312, there was a, an age called the Catholic Christianity. In this time, the gospel spread throughout the Mediterranean world and even in Asia. They were fought against by people who were uh, gnotis of gnosticism and other uh, uh, denominations that fought against the truth. In short, there was the gospel was spread around, but there was great persecution in Rome. People became martyrs. Yes. At the same time, Christians faced the persecuting power of Rome and dared to die heroically as martyrs, witnesses, and to other believers to follow in their train. This seed of martyrs' blood, as the as Tertullian called it, eventually bore abundant fruit in the conversion of the empire. Anyway, at that time there was great persecution people were killed and they became martyrs but this did not prevent the gospel to reach in the entire world then came the age of the Christian Empire between 312 and 590. At that time, Constantine caught a vision of Christ. Before the fourth century closed, Christianity became the official religion of the sprawling Roman state. Yeah. Yes. At that time, they would pray in catacombs, which was like graves where they would hide and pray and fellowship. Now you can see that we are able to build buildings. At that time, there was they had a sign of fish where they would recognize each other because it symbolized being a fish of men Christ 
Then they came the Christian Middle Ages between 590 and 1517 where the Christianity was very powerful in the Roman state. This is when they married the church and the state and the pop the pope was even more powerful than uh, kings in that time and this ushered the time of sin in the church. These were difficult times. After God saw that they were being deceived, He sent Islam into the picture. Europe after the 5th century when barbarian Germans and Huns shattered the empire's defenses and swept into the eternal city of Rome itself men turned to Augustine's city of God for explanations Augustine was trying to show in this book that God was not after only saving the human race but also redeeming the system of the world. That God can be in businesses, in the police uh, section in every other area of, of life. This book helped the King Charlemagne to build Europe. He established a university and he took all these things from the university. He I know some people don't really pay attention to this, but there are others who are following online. I want you to know what shaped these countries that we are living in. Yes, Praise Jesus. When Charlemagne built the empire of Europe, he was using this book. In, they were, in, Euro, in Rome they were confused about the Trinity and they got the, their clarity from this book of the uh, African Bishop Augustine uh, who wrote and explained exactly what the Trinity is God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit 
Europe was built on godly principles using this book. No, 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 Burai, any book I just cover, America, America, you what say, you what say, I can't read the Bible, my principle, man, no matter the comment, she America, my boy, my mother, come on, America, come here, no cover, keep it, I am a principle. Ni yama vusanga ba nyiri yugu mutu yemo kuwe shabira bagora gukabza bira bagora don suko ba kijiju iyo naba gima na bara yanga ariko wareri nge soza wako wana ba kijiju ni siki ndi nuko umucho wa bibiria wabi nji ya mura ba hindu na wabandi bandu ariko tuketu soma bibiria umucho wa chuka kumeza mbrika kondo kuwe isha kutelekera kukugamba na kusahura kukuroga kukuhichari etc Europe and America was built on godly principles. That's why even the principles they have are biblical, even though they are not saved. Some of them are not saved, but they don't lie, they don't exaggerate. But we, back in Africa, we read the Bible, but we continue to do those things. What does it mean? Nuko, hashize imyaka hafi gihumbi kirenga ababantu barubakiye ubuzima bwabo kuri Bibiliya. It's been almost a thousand years where this nation, these people built their system on the Bible. Doc, imi korere ya. Their systems. Iri mo onetete. They have onet honesty. Bafu shukuri. They have truth. Uwundi ne na majambo yose ya bank. Even the bank terminology. Ba kore shana ya bibiria. They are biblical. Doc, iyo iyo ba guha yume enda credit. When they give you a debt or credit. Credit niki. What is a credit? It means that we accept you. This is a biblical term. Credibility. Credibility. You have more credit. Credit. Credible to go high. Credit. 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 Even the credit score is based on someone's credibility. When you have a low credit score, they are encouraging you to be honest, to be uh, uh, truthful, because the everything in their society has been uh, based has be, is based on the Bible. In no in this country, when you use a budget, credibility when people in these nations have a budget they follow it to the t they don't go over even for 20 dollars but we back home we just say oh it's just a hundred dollars it's okay what amazes me among our people you sit and you do a meeting and the, and the meeting agrees and you leave and then someone calls you you have finished and and this person will tell you what we agreed in that meeting I really don't think is the right thing to do. and they, you meet and agree and then the person calls you to have a second meeting after the first meeting and they try to change what you agreed you have a meeting and you say a Christian is being detailed 
Meaning you can agree on something and then you decide to change the, the, the same thing and you try to maneuver around what you already agreed. Christianity is agreeing and being credible in the small things. Our people are not going to be able to do this. So, our people, our people are not honest and they are not open. They will agree with you in public, but they will hide something else in their heart. People in these nations, in these Western nations, they will tell you in your face, hey, I don't agree with this or I abstain myself. But our people back home, they are still doing the same thing. They, if, yeah, our people still lie in your face and afterwards they come and they reveal themselves. Where was the company you go? Did you know in, the, in this country? This country is amazing. They still have a conscience. When they have a conscience, when people here have a guilty conscience, they admit it. They even tell the doctor. I am suffering because of what I did. But you go to lie to the doctor and they give you prescriptions and you don't want to reveal what you did. Listen. Brethren. Do you want us to Let's learn to be righteous like they are and then uh -uh. Yeah. let's have their righteousness and then we give them our Jesus. Because sure. I cannot receive your Jesus when I'm more righteous than you. No. No. Judah. 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 The son of Jacob. He met a prostitute on the road. And he told the prostitute, let's sleep together. But the prostitute was his daughter in law. His daughter in law was not a prostitute. No. No. His, his daughter in law was a Canaanite woman. He gave him a son to marry. And the, the son died. In the law of the Jews. He, the brother of the son must marry the wife so that his name can be can his descendants can continue the same man when he would come to give birth he would uh, not he would sp uh, sp spread the seed away and God became angry and he killed him and Judah lost two sons in the law of the Jews you give him a third son and Judah say this woman is cursed she has killed two of my sons I'm not going to give you a third son but I'm going to lie to her say go home so that my son can grow when he is grown I will come and I will marry you to him 
the name of the daughter-in-law was Tamar. Tamar aragi. Tamar left. Asuiwa. He, she went back home. Muhungu arakuze. The man grew up. Kugezigiye Yuda mushingi. Until Judah gave him a wife. Mukobwa arabimenya. And Tamar learned this. Amenya ko Yuda agiye mu ntamaze kumusozi. And he learned that Judah was going to see his his ship. Yagomba gucha kumudugu da hantu. He had to go through a city. Wa mukobwa aragenda yambara imyambaro y'indaya. And the woman put on a prostitute garment. Yuda nawe yaramaze gupfusha umugore. And Judah had lost his wife. Yuda bo nyindaya. When Judah saw a prostitute, he said, "Come here." Indaira. The prostitute came. They slept together. But okay. Say this. But to yaman and daguha umana we hen. Let's sleep together. I'll give you a goat. Indakibaz. And she said yes. Atariko. But. I hen indaira. I don't have the goat here. No, here is a mukoza ikoza nirehan. I will send a servant to bring you the goat. Turuwa hamudugudu. Don't you believe belong here to see? And she said yes. But oya. Say no. Ndabze mera ruko. And the woman said, "You must give me your staff as a guarantee. And give me your ring. And give me the rope on your staff. These uh, were the signs of authority. And the woman kept those things. And Judah left. When Judah got to where he was going, he sent the goat. And they couldn't, they couldn't find the woman. And Judah came by himself. When he asked around, where is the prostitute? And they told him that they, they don't have any prostitute in the sea. Okay, okay. He said, okay. Afterwards, people told Judah that your daughter-in-law has a, a, a child or out of wedlock. But yeah. Say what? Judah ramanutsa ahamagazi gihugu cyose. Judah called the entire nation. No muri wa mudugudu. In the city. And they went other people. But umukazana wanje yaratwite none tugiye kumutera amabuye mwice bose ngo ya amen guko jara amategeko. And he said my daughter in law conceived with her husband and we are going to stone her and everyone agreed. Okay. So hands. So come out. Village yose ifite amabuye. The entire village had stones so that they could stone the woman. He told them before I go out to stone me, I agree. Go and ask Judah the owner of this staff, the owner of this ring, the owner of this rope. Then, then you can stone me. So they went out. They brought this to Judah and said, "Who is the owner of this stuff? Who is the owner of this? Woman? Who is the owner of this? Woman? He's the one who impregnated her." Judah was shocked. Do you know what Judah said? She is more righteous than me. I ask him. I ask her for forgiveness. I promised her my son. And I broke the promise. Urumva Yuda? Do you understand? Yaza kuba wowe. If he had been you. Wangu yonko nini yani? Sinyizi. You would have said I don't know that stuff. Yewe. I. Yonko ni. Just. Uwe mukufu. This. Uziko ba abzibze nkaburi yonza agiye. Do you know that they stopped? Ukisa zumudugu duo sengo ba kuibzi ngoni niki. You would go around saying that they stopped. Abos amu mwebi mwabi kora mwe. You are the ones who can do that. Muno vipa mwakora. But the people from these countries will not do that. Ibazari we bafatiye mu cyuho, famiye yose iraho nabandi, wemeje abantu ubwiye kwica umuntu yarangiza bagasanga ari wa muteyinde. Wita uhakana kuko nta na DNA yari hari yo gupima icyo gihe. Wewe bati, "Tiyo, uzi ku uyu mukobwa yakoze mafia bakanya ibingo n'ibindi byose. Ay 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 ay. Dan narabivuze ese ni we. Mu mwicira mu mwicire kimwe voilà. Ariko umuntu ufite gukiranuka yafashwe mu cyaha cyangwa iyo yakoze cyaha rakemera ntimuzabwiriza rero abantu babarusha gukiranduka kiretse mufite gukiranduka kwa pawo if it had been you you would have refused and tried to uh, blame the woman saying that she maneuvered and stole your things but you will not be able to preach to people in this country if you don't have their righteousness 
receive the righteousness seek first what what and seek first the kingdom and righteousness and all these things will be added you you have the kingdom you have the salvation but you don't have righteousness you so the church grew he got to this place and he got to this, this country the year 1789 to 1914 was called the age of progress here Christians of all sorts they no longer gave value they started to mix it with the world there was a secularism in this time and sometimes the age of ideologies between 1914 and 1990 this is when they started to question everything about Christianity and these are the countries that we live in they are confused right now people started doing uh, going into secular there was Nazism there was Communism was worshipped as uh, communism worshipped the party and the American democracy was revered. People started to talk about human rights. A woman would drive a truck to imitate the man. Your age, and they would start even painting the houses wearing trousers to show that they are equal to men. This is the age that we entered. These were difficult times. That's when we had different wars. Christianity was spoiled. Spoiled. Things become very bad. But this is the time when they brought uh, the gospel to Africa because Africa had been forgotten. The missionaries took the gospel in Africa. They had the faith and the flesh and the faith. Some had the agenda to colonize Africa, others had the agenda to preach to Africa. At that time, they would allow us, to, they would tell us to receive Jesus, but not to give up our old tradition and rituals. They would even baptize us and ask us to continue in our tradition. If we were in Africa, we were in Latin America, America, we were in Latin America, we were in Latin America, we were in Latin America. 
that didn't happen only in Africa it also happened in Latin America in that time we received the gospel some of us went into the gospel with all our hearts others went while doing their rituals that's where you find different religions another thing that differentiates Africans when the missionaries came they didn't preach Jesus they told us about their religion those who came from England they told us they were Anglicans another uh, religion called the Baptist came another religion against the Baptists told us they were Methodists another religion against the Methodists came as Nazarenes others who were against those in Europe told us they were Pentecostals those who were Swedish and Norway they brought the Pentecost movement those in Africa who were hurt they were trying to fight fighting the uh, right. they came calling themselves the apostles others came calling themselves Zion they started in South Africa others came as Kibangists those were religions that were against the white man religion and they were preaching out of anger and Africans were divided in two the Baptists will not greet the Methodist because yet they are brothers the Pentecost will not greet the Anglican we receive religions we do not receive Jesus that, that, that is our heritage because that's the heritage from Europe. that is the heritage from America. America to have a Christian you must know their religion we receive them and we yeah. but the assignment that Jesus made said, go to Judea he didn't say establish he didn't say establish he didn't say establish he didn't he said, witness me. Muzampamye. Witness me. Mugye kwa abashumba. You are going to be pastors. Kimo abashumba kusaba Zion. Mwa abashumba baba Kristo. Don't be pastors of Zion. Be the pastors of all people. Mwa abashumba baba Andos. Be pastors of all people. Mwa abashumba bubgo kogos. Be pastors of all tribes. Mwa abashumba bimi diango yos. Be pastors of all families. Mwa abashumba baba Andos. Be pastors of all people. Uweni wamukoro Yesu ya tuha. That is the assignment that Jesus gave us. Ni wamukoro Yesu ya tuha. That is the assignment. Umoja tu dinjira umare mbaya juu. The day when we enter this, the heaven gates. They will not say welcome Zion. They will not say Ebenezer welcome. They will not say welcome Pentecost. They will say welcome good servant. You were faithful in the little and you are given much. We will all have one garment. The garment that was washed in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will get before Jesus with a garment that has the blood of Jesus, that has no religion, that has no denomination, that has only Jesus. And we will be coming from all tongues, all tribes, all nations, all countries and will be before God. We will thank God. We will thank God that he sent Jesus to save us. We will thank Jesus that he sent the Holy Spirit to manifest us. We will thank the Holy Spirit that he helped us to get to heaven. At that time, all those who serve God, they will be rewarded. The pastors, they will receive an incorruptible crown which is the crown of righteousness they receive a crown that they speak, praying preaching the gospel 
and the Christians they received the crown of life because they received Jesus as their Lord and, and they served God they did not turn day night they were righteous the pastors when the master comes the, the great shepherd comes the, when the great shepherd he will reward you I thank you brother that you receive the call and that you are about to serve God I'm giving you an assignment for this place meet as churches uh, as many churches and call upon revival in this do a gathering for all the churches forget about the things of the do a great crusade a great conference and call upon the people from this country tell them how, what you want to do tell them what you live to and tell them that you, we are here because of Jesus we have come to join you after you join call the pastors in this area and tell them we are one body we have come to tell you come and join us to bring back Christ if you do it pastors if you do it people of God revival will come here it will be known around the world people will know God people will know their Lord they will enter a new level let's give Jesus glory hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. are you ready to fulfill the assignment that God has given you in Jerusalem in Judea in Samaria and in boys meridian in Meridian, Idaho. In Idaho, yes, When Jesus was saying this, he stands in the beginning and sees the end. He was standing in Jerusalem, and he was seeing today in boys what will happen here. He was looking afar, and he saw that you'll be one of them among the people who bring revival. That's why we named this conference Idaho. This is your time of visitation. Idaho, this is your time of visitation. Idaho, Oh, this is your time of visitation. I doubt this is your time of visitation. I doubt this is your time of visitation. Hallelujah! 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 We are doing what Jesus foresees. When he was standing on the mountain, as he was bidding farewell, he was seeing this evening. He was seeing this conference. This conference where you be part of it. We'll be together as you meet the power of God. As God uses you as God ushers you to as God speaks to you, as God uses you, as God proclaims you, as God anoints you, as God crosses you, as God testifies you, as God elevates you, this is the time, this is the evening, that Jesus moves, Jesus moves, but he was far away, hallelujah, hallelujah, and he told them, to the ends of the earth. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Shima Yesu. Be praised, Jesus. Shima Yesu. Be praised, Jesus. Shima Yesu. Be praised, Jesus. Be praised, Jesus. She my yes. Be praised, Jesus. Kuyumus Warus. That this is the day. She mana we mukawera. Wamutu men. She my yes. Shima da na wa mutaze, shima na we shima yesu mochunguzi, shima da na ya mutaze, shima na we 
that you have done in this world. the revival that you are bringing in this world. the power that you are bringing in this place. the miracles that you are bringing in this place I thank you Jesus increase their power to witness you increase the power to speak about you from Jerusalem to Judea Samaria, to Samaria and to the ends of the earth we are here God to put the fire of Pentecost again in us to kindle the fire of speaking about your works the salvation you gave the death you died the sins you took the victory you gave us Shima, yes. we praise you Jesus Jesus, a round of applause. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We are going to enter a different time. The time to ordain the pastors. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to preach the gospel? Are you ready? Pastors are not supposed to be preaching only. It is anyone who is born again. They must preach the gospel. We are going into the ordination ceremony. I am asking Pastor Joseph Israel Pastor Joseph Israel Habineza. Pastor Joseph Israel Habineza. Yarumushumba Yarira Sengewe. Was already an ordained pastor. That's why we are not going to do a big ceremony for him. Ariko Trashaka Kongra go confirma Muri Viziaza and Temple Authentic Word Ministry. But we want to confirm his ordination in Zion Temple Celebration Center. 
yari umukozi w'Imana mu itorero rya Baptiste muri Nigeria he was a servant of God in the Baptist and Nigerian church ndetse no mu Rwanda even in Rwanda eh ise umubyara ni inshuti yange no mu bishop yaratayarinze his father is a friend of mine he's a bishop but he retired eh mu itorero rya Baptiste mu Rwanda in the Baptist church in Rwanda igiye nkoze ubukwe muri 1997 when he got married in 1997 yewe when i got married in 1997 so we just do say uvuga ngo komvuze yes icyo giye itorero ryabo baptist they are church baptist church nibyo twakoreye mu veye twarangije reception y'ubukwe tujya gusenga turara muri veye dusenga duhimbaza imana ya ritorero ryase we finished the wedding reception and we went to his father's church to have an overnight uh, prayer watch icyo gihe at that time yari mukuru cyane yari umusore muto yigaga muri primaire he was a young man in primary school Niki wibuka cyagiye muri bwa bwo niki wibuka ugitoye What do you remember in that time? Harabaririmbye benshi. Ya, harabaririmbye benshi. Wari mutoye? Nari muto ariko icyo nibuka cyane hari na za fanta nyinshi zo ku. I was very young and I remember there were many worshipers and there were many sodas to drink in that overnight watch there were many when we were going to the they put many sodas in the four corners of the church and they said if anyone is thirsty they can help themselves Joseph Arich that we would say we are you in Kazinga I'm in Georgia how many did you drink is if you remember but if man you to our own water to come out to come out go go hard to be in a chance to be in your time what is in my channel but we were dancing all night long so we were very thirsty and we drank all night as well Joseph which are here money me on the chain and I carry in the moment we were all of it a ibitekerezo ko tuzabana hano muri boys ayidaho kandi tugushikiriza ishingano zo kwebura za tempo hari byari bikuri mu cyo gihe in 1997 when we were in that uh, overnight did you have a vision or did you know that you would be here in boys idaho receiving the responsibilities you about to have kuva kuri umunsi ubuko nge narembizi imana yari yabivuzeho ko uri ya mugabo abonya ko rubukwe uzaba mu itorero rye ayoboye riza ari komeye kwisi nya narabimenye kuva umunsi a new i knew it on the same day god told me that the man who got married will lead a very powerful church around the world and you are going to be one of those people who be in that church we woke ku icyo gihe remember that time yari mu baptiste he was a baptist nari mu pentecost i was a pentecost kugira ngo ugire nibyo bitekerezo byo nyine to, to have that kind of a thought it was not out of the flesh and blood and he was very young but this is what God said to him because he doesn't want to surprise you God prepares us amen 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 Christina Yabahari Christine wa Michigan is Christine from Michigan here Haguruka Christine stand up Christine please the woman you see there I want to thank you very much the Christian you see is one of the people who connected me to Joseph he, she continued to tell me about him Christine Christine I am Christine I am inspired by the Holy Spirit that as we ordain evangelists and pray for evangelists, you should be one of them. Do you know what happened? Andrea Philip told Nathanael. 
that's Jesus and he became one of the disciples of Jesus when we pray for others you will be part of them we are going to pray for the evangelists and the deacons Amen. Amen you may see may God bless you and you came too you came from Michigan right with children three children you came to support our brother here Praise God. Thank you. You may be seated. God does amazing Joseph, Joseph. I really didn't know him. But I know his father. And he looks like his father, really. His father is is among the first people who understood my vision when I came to Rwanda. I talked to him about how I wanted to pray for the country of Rwanda. And he was very pleased. And he told me, and he told me that he has a friend, a white friend named Shenkel. A French a man called Charles Shaken. Charles Shaken here at Jamurguanda, who is now to give us to go and Charles Shaken. We are we don't that fresh water. And we spent the whole day talking, uh, speaking with Charles, and I was very blessed. There, oh you must. This day. Now, in the future, now we must have the cup of power. We have our ha. Are you going to give us the easy name? We have to make a Jamurguanda. We have to go to Shaka. We have no. Dr. Bishop Ashaka I had wished that his father Dr. Bishop Ashaka could be here but he couldn't make it because of other reasons so I want to thank God that today I'm seeing now Bashaka son but now we are going to work together when you told him that you were going to work together, what did he say? Okay. I believe he's following and he was very happy. He told me that we know each other. Yes. Hey, praise the Lord. Anyway. There are things that someone can see, but I thank God. God is good. We are not going to do too much. I'm asking you to kneel down. I'm going to ask the pastors of Zion Temple to come forward. Please come forward. Just can you can move it. We had time to pray for him and to speak with him. We are just going to confirm him in this calling. Amen. 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 As a senior pastor, as a senior pastor, to what we are going to call pastoral. We had, would have given him the pastoral call. But he has already worn it. All those things have been done for him. We are not going to repeat it. We are not going to receive the pastoral call. But you are pastors, but you are not senior pastors. To have a call doesn't make you a pastor. The, the anointing we are going to pray for you and anoint you with is going to make you a pastor under his leadership. So come and lay your hands on him. Lord, great God, we thank you that you do good. We thank you for Joseph Israel. You know this day. This is a great day. Man, God. 
We say that you are good. Urikitanga. You are amazing. Turamwambika. We clothe him imbaraga zawe. With your power. Turamusika. We anoint him mafuta yao. With your oil. Turamusabira. We pray ibitangaz. For miracles. Turamusabira. We pray ichubahiro. For honor. Umuji imbere. Go before. Umuhumutima wao. Give him your heart. Umuzuza mafuta mashya. Fill him with anointing. Ukuremwa yakera yose. Take all the old anointing and give him new anointing. Huko Daudi as David was prayed for twice, even three times. He was anointed the same way. Bless him. Give him a double portion in speech, in leadership, in strength. Clove him with your power. Use him mightily above. May your honor continue to be with him. Thank Thank you, Father. Let's anoint him. him Lord Bible says, carry your cross and follow me. This cross is the hope of the world. Preach Jesus to the world. Don't tell them about me or you. Tell them about Jesus. The hope of the world is the one who was crucified on the cross. Is the one who was crucified on the cross. Is the one who resurrected. The one who return. This is the shepherd's staff. Keep the sheep. Keep your sheep. Keep your sheep. Keep the lamb. Keep the pastors. And keep the sheep. The sheep and the lamb. Amen. Amen. 
This is a sign certificate that you have been anointed in this world of authentic world ministry and the church is in temple. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. as we are still there and as pastors are still standing here I ask Hannah Habineza Odette Murekatete Teofil Muhoza and Jean Mabika to come forward You, you can come by yourself and your spouses will come after. Today May 26 in the year of our Lord 2024 is a very special day in the ministry of Zion Temple Celebration Center, Idaho. Today is the day Zion Temple Celebration Center, Boys, Idaho, It is the day that we apostles, bishops, overseers, pastors, and church leaders, and the entire family of Zion Temple Celebration Center are here to witness the consecration of Hannah Habineza, Odette Murikatete, Teofil Muhoza, and Jean Marika as pastors in the Authentic World Ministry and Zion Temple Celebration Center in Boys, Idaho, and Wisconsin. Abashinzwe kugenzura ndetse no gukurikirana abakozi b'Imana ari bo abamaze kuvuga basanze bashitse ndetse barahamagariwe gukorera Imana muri uyu murimo kuko ubushobozi bwa buhongana kabashumba mu itorero rya Zion Temple Celebration Center Boys Idaho ndetse na Vice Council Those whose duty is to inquire about the, the servants of God have examined these mentioned that and found them duty called to serve God in the ministry in their capacities as pastors in authentic word ministry Zion Celebration Center in Boise, Idaho and Wisconsin. Bene data mwese muteraniye hano uyu munsi. Nyuma yo gusenga no kugisha inama mu mwuka wera. Turizera ko aba bene data bakwiriye gusigirwa uyu murimo w'ubushumba. Bene data muteraniye hano. Dizera ko mwemezanya natwe kwa bakozi b'Imana bimikwa nk'abashumba mu itorero ryayo ese murabyemera muvuge ngo yego turabyemeye Imana ba umuje ese muzabashikira nk'abashumba banyo nawe mwavuga ngo yego turabyemeye Do you support them as your pastors? Yes, we do. Benedata Hana Habineza Odete Murikatete Teofilu Muhoza Jean Mabika mugiye kuba bakoze ibimana mu itorero rya yogera hari cyo muhamagariwe muhamagariwe kwamamaza umuzuko wa Kristo muhamagariwe kubwiriza ubutumwa bwiza ndetse 
mu guhamiriza ubumana bwe kumwami w'abami n'umutware wabatware muhamagariwe kurinda kwizera ubumwe na gahunda nziza yitorero muhamagariwe kwizihiza ndetse no kwebara neza imihango y'isezano ryo muhamagariwe gukorera imirimo y'Imana itandukanye mu rusengero hamwe nabagenzi banyu muzahugurana kandi mubasha gukomera kugera ngo mugire ku rugero rwa Kristo umurage wanyu no kwizera kwa basoko kuruza abahanuzi intumwa nabitangiye umwami kugezaho bicwa ndetse nabagiye bashira ibyiringiro byabo mu mana umunezero wanyu uzabe mu kugendera mu nzira ya Yesu Kristo waje atari ukugira ngo akorerwe ahubwo akorere abantu ndetse akemera kwitanga no kubapfira brethren pastors hana ba Habineza Odette Murikatete, Teofila Mohoza, and Jean Mavika, you are going to be servants in God's holy church and you call to be active in proclaiming Christ's resurrection, interpreting the gospel, and to testify Christ's sovereignty as Lord of Lords and King of Kings. You are called to guard the faith, unity, and discipline of the church, to celebrate and to provide for the administration of the ordinances of the new covenant, to ordain pastors, elders, deacons, and rejoin faithful servant and minister in wholesome example for the entire flock of Christ. With your fellow leaders, you will share the leadership of the church throughout the world. Your heritage is the faith of patriarchs, prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and those of every generation who have looked to God in hope, and your joy will be to, to follow the way of Jesus Christ who came, not to be served, but to serve, and give his life as a ransom for many. Amen. Amen. nyuma yo kumva ibi byose tuvuze hari ibibazo tugiye kubabaza muragenda mu bisubiza after hearing all the above you are going to be answering some of these questions ndabaza umwe umwe ariko murasubiza mwese i'll ask each one ndavuga ku kumuntu umwe i'll ask as an individual but you can respond together Urabyizera nta gushidikanya ko wahamagawe kandi ukwiriye uyu murimo w'ubushumba. Yes, yes, Mushireho mikro muzumuvuge. Yego ndabyizera. Are you convinced beyond reasonable doubt that you are called and that you are fit to the office of pastors? Yes, I am convinced. Kibado cha kabiri. Second question. Uzemera kuba hano kubahiriza uyu muhamagara mu kwizera no kumvira kose kwa Kristo. Will you accept and reverence this call fulfilling this trust in this in the obedience of Christ? Yes, I will do. Kibazo cha gatatu. Uzaba umwizerwa mu gusenga ndetse no kwiga no gusoma ibyanditswe byera kugira ngo ugire akamero ka Kristo. Yego, nzabikora. Question number 3, will you faithfully engage yourself in prayer and in the study of the holy scriptures that you may have the mind of Christ? Yes, I will. Ikibazo cha gatatu. Sorry, chakan. Uzamamaza unasobanura ubutumwa bwiza bwa Kristo wishurira abo uyoboye ngo bi ngo bicuze hatarimo kunyura iruhande. Yego, zabikora. Will you will you boldly proclaim and interpret the gospel of Christ enlightening the minds and stirring up the conscience of all people without compromise? Yes, I will. Kibato cha gatano Uzachishikarira kubaho ubuzima butarangwa numugayo uwari we wose Ubuzima bwejejwe kandi gubunyanga mugayo Yego nzabikora Question number 5 Will you strive to a life which is blameless holy without reproach and a person of integrity Yes I will Kibazo cha gatandatu Uzahagararira mu kurinda nifuhe kwizera ubumwe na gahunda nziza yitorero Yego nzabikora Question number 6 will you jealously defend the guard and guard the faith unity and discipline of the church Yes I will Kibazo cha karindwe Wiyemeje kuba hintumwa ari we muyobozi wa hawi yerekwa ry'uyu murimo mu nshinga no zosa zaguha ziteze uyu murimo imbere no kumvira ubuyobozi bwashizweho kugira ngo burinde ubusugire bw'itorero Yego, Question number seven: Will you be merciful to all, 
Show compassion to the poor, those suffering in mind and body, the strangers, orphans, widows, and defend those who have no helper. Yes, I will. Icho ni chamunani. Anyway, uzagi dimbuwe wao se wera kanu bugira neza kubakene. Ababa ba ye mamu birindeze no mutima. Abatazgu na bati shobo ye. Yego zarekora. Icha chen. Kumu shumba. Uzakome zavera wao se. Uba fashi. Uba sengere. Uda huema. Unishi mane nabo. Mumi hango yo kuiziza kuchungu kwa kwa achu. Yego zarekora. As a pastor, will you encourage and support all saints, show grace to them, pray for them without ceasing, and celebrate with them the ordinances of our redemption? Yes, I will. Thank you very much. 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 E, uyu mwanyi chito tukia kukora rero Tulasaba ngo tutegure Aho basengiru We are going to prepare Where they are going to be prayed for Because one of them has a knee problem, they will not uh, be kneeling, but they will be sitting on chairs. Sawa, abatware na wafasha wabo muze mwa hagara rinyoma, ubuga tugiye kuwa sengere. We are going to ask the wives and husbands to come and stand behind them in show of support. You are going to put your hands on their shoulders as a sign of support. And the pastors can draw near. You can lay your, the hands on. Let me ask the church to stand up. Raise your hands and your voices to pray. Lord, we come before you bringing your servant. We pray for your miracle, your anointing to come upon them. the power of heaven to come upon them. the new heart to come in them. the heart of the Holy Spirit. To be in them. Keep them from anything. Keep them from disease. Keep them from the Keep them from abuse. We pray for Amafuta. We pray for anointing. Special anointing. To be pastors. To have your heart. You say. You give us 
shepherds with your same heart they will lead us with wisdom and understanding give them wisdom give them understanding give them power of the heart and of the flesh heal those who are sick solve their problems in this day that you are fulfilling your promises we anoint them with the Lord we pray for your miracles to come upon them thank you Father 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 we ask you God that your power may be manifested may your oil fall may your anointing fall on them may your anointing fall on them may your anointing fall on them in the name of Jesus 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 may your anointing God may your anointing God fall on them in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. New wisdom, new hearts on your life. Use them mighty. Use them powerful. May your glory God come upon them. In the name of Jesus. 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 Be good to them. Your anointing fall upon them. Be upon them. May his love change. We proclaim power. We proclaim blessings. We proclaim strength. We proclaim glory. Use them from this day. May they have a heart of worship. May they speak like pastors. May they work like pastors. May they talk like pastors. May they believe like pastors. May they pray like pastors. May they read the word like pastors. In the name of Jesus. May all these be done in the name of the Father of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As you are still standing, uh, as you are still sitting, pastors, please join you. Uh, Pastor Francine, Pastor, Pastor Claudine, Angelique, 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 please put, put the cross, give them the cross. Amavuta asani they have given you the cross Matthew 16 24 Jesus said to his disciples if anyone desires to come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me Mwizina 
Mwitorero Zion Temple Celebration Center hano muri America Idaho no muri Wisconsin Mufite ubutware bwo kurinda umukumbi mufite ubutware bwo kwizera kurinda kwizera kurinda ubumwe na gahunda nziza yitorero kwizihiza ndetse no kuyobora neza imihango y'isezerano rishya umubatizo igaboro ryera kwimika badiyakoni abayobozi kusengera abana kusezeranya gushingura nizindi gahunda zitorero muhamagari we gushakisha no kuzana ubumwe mu itorero mubereye abashumba kandi mubere abantu urugero rwiza kandi mukaba nabashumba nabakozi b'Imana mwemerewe kurera izitama kandi muzerera imbuto nziza umwami Yesu Kristo no muka wera bazabayobore banakuza muri mu mwahawe ni Imana ibi bikozwe mu izina rya data no mwana no muka wera amen In the name of Jesus Christ the head of the church and by authority of the ministry of, of authentic word ministries Zion Temple Celebration Center you are now consecrated and wholly affirmed in the sacred office of a pastor in authentic word ministries Zion Temple Celebration Center Idaho and Wisconsin you have the authority to guard the faith unity and discipline of the church to celebrate and to provide for the administration and the ordinances of the new covenant to ordain leader elders deacons children dedication funeral marriage and to be in all things a faithful pastor and minister in wholesome example for the entire flock of Christ in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit may jesus and the holy spirit inspire and make you, your ministry fruitful benedata toro muhagaze imbere yacu abana abashumba bayo Dufite umushumba hana habineza azamuru kuba kuba kurebe. Akabari numufasha wa pasteli Joseph Israel Habimana. Habineza pardon. Dufite umushumba odete muri katete azamura amaboko yawe. No mushumba wanyu Dufite umushumba Teofila muhoza nzamuruko gukwawe. Aba kwari batatu bose. Nabashumba bahano muri Zion Temple ya hano Boys Idaho. Tukaba dufite umushumba wa kane ari we Jean Mabika zamuruko gukwe. Jean Mabika akabagiye koherezwa ku mushumba. Uzakorera Imana muri Zion Temple Wisconsin. Uyu munsi akabasizwa amavuta yoherejwe i Samaria ndetse na kumpera yise. Ba Kristo mura. Bibiliya irabihamya ngo mwibuke ababa yoboraga ababa bwirisha mu ry'Imana. Mukurikire kwizera kwa Mugomba gukurika ubuyobozi bwanyu n'abayobozi banyu mugakomeza kwizera kwabo kandi mugashigikira irekwa bafite muri uyu murimo. Ija muri Imana iravuga ngo mwumvire aba bayobora mu baganukire kuko ari baba maso barinda imitima yanyu nka bazababazwa. Nuko rero mubumvire kugira ngo babikore banezerewe kandi batagononwa kuko kubikora nakangononwa kutagira cyo kubamarira mwebwe. Uyu muyobozi mureba cyangwa abayobozi sibo bishyizeho kuri uyu mwanya ahubwo ni imana ya ubahaye ikanabaha nubutware bibiliya rero iratubwira ngo twite ku bakozi b'Imana mubiteho mubakunde mububahe kandi mwirinde kubavuga vuga no kubavuga nabi kuko bibiliya iravuga ngo ntugakore kuwasizwe ikongera ikavuga ngo mubane mwese mu mahoro aya namagambo y'umwami imana musabwe kwitondera no kuyakomeza niba mubyemeye mukomereye samashya Brethren of Authentic Word Ministries and Temple Celebration Center today we present you 
your pastors Hannah Havineza Odette Murikatete and Teofila Mohoza as pastors in Zion Celebration Center Zion Temple Celebration Center in Idaho and we have ordained Jean Marika as a pastor being sent to to have to, uh, to the branch of Wisconsin the Bible puts it clearly that you should remember them who rule over you who have spoken unto you the word of God whose faith follows you have to follow your leaders and uphold the faith they have and back up their vision in the ministry the Bible says obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch over your souls as they must give account that they may they may to it with joy and not with grief for it is unprofitable to your leader for they did not place themselves where they are but God has given them this position of authority the Bible continues to say that you should know them who labor among you in the Lord and admonish you to esteem them very highly in love and avoid slandering them touch not my anointed the Bible says and be at peace among yourselves these are the words of the Lord Jesus Christ and we must take them seriously and as such amen amen let's give them their gifts you can stand before them and I will let you know when to give them the gifts. Mugerageze kugira ngo baze kubafotora neza bafata za Bibiliya mutange distance gatoya. Ni mwakire Bibiliya babahaye. Receive the Bibles. Akiri cyo gitabo receive that book he has the words of life may he guide you may you declare them to the world keep watch over the whole flock in which the Holy Spirit has appointed you encourage the faithful and restore the lost Build the body of Christ. Amen. Let it be a deep well from which you and those you serve draw the word of life. Amen. This is a certificate that he is ordained as a pastor. Odette Murikatete. This is a certificate. That you have been ordained and you are a pastor in Zion Temple. Hana Habineza, you have been ordained and you are a pastor in Zion Temple. Teofilo Umuhoza. Teofil Mohoza, you have been ordained and you are a, man, a pastor in Zion Temple. Bavandimwe, brethren, Abamobona, these you see, they are the servants of God in His church. Obey them. Ohere yumusuzu, ohere kuzi na pastor, ubone kuvuga irindi. From this day forward, you should start their name with their title, Pastor. Pastor Jean Mabika. Pastor Jean Mabika. Pastor Odeta Mrekatete. Pastor Odette Mrekatete. Pastor Hana Havineza. Pastor Hana Havineza. Pastor Teofila Mohoza. Pastor Teofila Mohoza. Ayo ni yomazi na Mozambi. Those are their names. Ndasabongo bashumba, mwigira imbere tukifotoze na bashumba, na ba fashabani. 
I asked the pastors and their spouses to come for a picture. Let's start with your spouses. Pastors, please come forward. Jamabika. Let me ask Jamabika. Eh Jamabika atuye ni turangiza naba turaza gusengera bavuga butumwa naba naba ariko reka ababombi bavuga just just one minute. Reka duhere kuri Jamabika kuva muri Wisconsin. Let's start. Agire icyo tubwira mu magambo mugufi. Let's start by Jamabika from Wisconsin then we will ordain the evangelists and the deacons. Yes ashimwe. Praise Jesus. Yes, ashimwe. Praise Jesus. Ndavuga ngo yes, ashimwe. Let me say it again, praise Jesus. Turashima Imana uyu munsi ko ariyo kwizerwa. We thank God today for he is faithful. Ni Imana isoza ijambo ryayo mu gihe gikwiriye. It is God who fulfills his promise in his appointed time. 
baduhaye umunota umwe nago ndi uvuge amagambo menshi ariko no gushima imana I won't say much I'm just thanking God today Tumaze imyaka hafi irindwi muri state ya Wisconsin dukora umurimo w'Imana We've lived and served in Wisconsin for the past 7 years Ariko turashima Imana ko ibyo Imana yavuze ku buzima bwacu hafi imyaka 22 byuzuye uyu munsi but I'm here to thank God for what he spoke over our lives 20 years ago they have been fulfilled today cyane cyane ngabashimira imana ko byuzuye kandi bikaba byuzuriye mu data wo kwizera ayo apostle Paul Gitwaza and I thank God for this being fulfilled God using our father apostle Paul Gitwaza tugiye gukora umurimo w'Imana kandi vuba cyane turizera ko muzadu muzadusangariya kugira ngo tubashe kwa guru bwami bw'Imana we are going to be working in the ministry of the Lord there and we hope to see you to, for you and your support soon ndashimira Imana data apostle Paul Gitwaza i thank God God of our father apostle Paul Gitwaza kuba Imana yamukoresheje kandi yemera ku for God using him and he accepted that calling to anoint us to ordain us and to send us to serve God please support us as we will always be with you I thank my extended family I know most of them are actually following us now thanking my my wife who is here with me and our children may God bless you hallelujah hallelujah lift up the glory of the Lord if you are pleased to be in his house I won't take much time. I will speak in three parts, speaking about you. Oh, ndahera kuri Pastor Odette tujye gutangira kwimenyereza kubahamagara Pastor Runaka, Pastor Runaka. Let me start by Pastor Odette cuz we have to get used to call them pastor. Maze imyaka hafi 14 muzi ari mu murimo w'Imana za online zitandukanye. It's been about 14 years since we have been working together and throughout different platforms, even online, but I have known for the past 14 years that we will be serving together. So may God be praised for he fulfilled it today. Maybe that's 20 seconds. And the second person, and Pastor Teofila, the first time I met her, I had a vision that she has been told and she's known this for a while that she'll be a pastor. When I asked her, she wanted to know how were you able to know this? Because that's right. She was not surprised because she's known this for a while. Madam, now Muramuzi. My wife, as you know her. It's as if she became a pastor right after birth. So may God be praised for your life. I think my time is up. Let me call the evangelists and the deacons as well. Please hurry as soldiers. Uh -huh. Thank you for coming. Please welcome.
Praise be to God. We have two evangelists who will ordain today. Herbert Peters. Herbert Peters. Raise your hand. Christine. And Christine. Christine Christine Ineza. Please come forward. The Bible says. Be a good evangelist. Evangelize in the season and out of season. The greatest work of Jesus. The greatest title of Jesus. Is being evangelist. He came from heaven. And to preach on earth. Preach the gospel. Preach the gospel to the people. Amen. Amen. In the church, out of, out of church, bring them in. Amen. 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 Please kneel down so we can pray for you. Let us stretch our hands towards them. Lord, great God, this is a special day. And your word says, the work is large and the laborers are fewer. And pray to the Father to send laborers. These are other laborers that you have. Brought. We bless them, Lord. We place our hands upon them. May you use them greatly. Anoint them, Lord. And use them greatly. And beyond what we imagine. From this moment, may your glory be on them. Man, Lord, give them your work to serve you. Fill them your Holy Spirit and work in power and your authority. We thank you from today. They are no longer them, but it is you in them. They, they no longer live, but you Christ live in them. Oh, Jesus. They shall bring many souls to your kingdom. They shall preach the gospel. And people will be saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us anoint them. Praise be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Evangelist, in the name of Jesus, serve Jesus all the years of your life. Serve Jesus, your joy be of serving Jesus in the in anointing. May God add more years of serving Him. In the name of Jesus, use him to do great things. Increase years of life as he serves you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is the word of God. 
preach preach the gospel from today do not ever forget this day preach the gospel this day it is a special day in your life may Jesus bless you Amen now you can be seated we are going we are going to ordain the deacons for this ministry. Magi, you raise your hand. Mulisa Teta. Mulisa Teta. Dark Muhire Nicole Najemba Nicole Najemba Amanaba Diako. These are the deacons. We are going to ordain them to serve well, to usher people well take care of the visitors and the guests how they slept, how they ate and their well-being of the <laughs> okay, anyway let us stretch our hands upon them God, we dedicate them in your hands we pray for your blessings we pray for great things we pray for your anointing to come upon them use them to do exploits take them to another level May they carry cross and follow you and they serve the church as they did in the first church the seven who were able to do your work they were filled by a spirit filled with the power and authority we anoint them Lord in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus use them to do all this and your power be upon them your anointing Lord flow on them in the name of Jesus 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 use them to do exploits and your blessings come upon them in the name of Jesus from today their love shall be transformed their livelihood be transformed use them use them in your work that you have called them to serve. make the church prosper help all the members of the church those who are tired those who are in pain may they find rest in them in the name of Jesus Amen, Amen. Let us the church to stand. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your presence. Thank you for coming. 
publicly officially we have not Church Zion Temple Celebration Center in Boise, Idaho. And second, we asked all the, neighbor, the neighboring churches. We are not your rivals. We are just another body for the Christ. Join us so we can all serve together. Serve the work of the Lord. Love us because we too love you. Amen. Amen. If you lack anything, come to us. If we do lack anything, we will come to you. Please come and baptize us. If you need a worshiper, a worship team when yours are not there on different time schedule of our churches, come to us. If we need them, we'll come to you. Even the pagans lend each other. You will sit at the bar. Even the bar owners, if they lack wine or beer, they will go to a different uh, bar and borrow their wine. If they have a cold or warm, they will be switching. Why can't we do the same in the body of Christ? If we need an, a, a pianist, pianist or another instrument player, borrow from us and we'll borrow from you as well. Amen. 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 Yes, I should wish that. Praise be to Jesus. So let us join our forces and work together. I cannot live without thanking the Church of Baptists. The church where we are. May God bless them. They are senior pastor. And the board. And everybody who serves. May God Hallelujah. bless them. For the past three days we have been using it. We used it for the three days. Pastor, now Mukorana Mwese, Nava Yovokembany Mwese, Imani Bahumujish. Senior pastor and the assistants in all the committee and the members of the church, may God bless you. We also thank you for they have given us a building where we gather. We thank them for giving us the Zion Temple locally a place to pray to. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase. May the Lord give you yes. good health. May the Lord continue to increase members. Through this church, may the revival come. The power of God be manifested in this city because of you. You did the great things. We don't have anything to give you. But one day, your reward is so great. Before the Lord, before our God, you will receive more and more. Then he will remember. Ah, it was Zion Temple. God will. Reward you. We bless you. Continue to do good work. And you will reap at the right season. Be blessed. All the members who have come, brethren who have come, those who came around, those who came around Canada. So we can uh, uh, bless the one who, who came from a Canada. You came to attend. We know how to go ahead. Come and receive the blessings of uh, God. Evangelist Claudine Nyangezi. Evangelist Claudine. She is she represents all the daughters of Zion Temple in the North America, United States and Canada. Thank you, Sister Claudine. 
thank you so much for coming. Thank you for coming to support other daughters of Zion ordination. God, we thank you for Claudine. You have kept her for us and blessed her. Thank you for anointing her. And we continue for the anointing to be on her. She came. She sacrificed the much to be here. She sacrificed her finance. May you remember her many folds. May you increase all her Amavuta, anointing, ukomera, greatness, kugubganeza, well-being, be filled in Murindi her, rurugo, keep her family, abana, her children, akazi, her work, numurimo, and the ministry of the Lord. Koyaje, Thank you for bringing her. May you always remember her in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.